Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to do paint like money using Photoshop. I'm here in Saint-Tropez, south of France, and there's so many painters out there, and this whole city just inspires me to paint. I'm a really bad painter. I've been learning drawing for many, many years, and I really want to get into painting. And I've tried so many ways to generate paint with computers. I'm going to show you a really cool trick on two photos on how to paint like money in Photoshop. Now, if you stay until the end, I'm going to show you how to install the brushes that I'm giving you for free and how I'm doing this amazing painting of the Place de Lys here in Saint-Tropez. It's going to be amazing. Let's do it. So in this video, I'm going to show you a really cool technique to uh, basically sort of do a, like a very, I call it like paint like Monet, but it's just a very cool way to make something look like a painting. And it looks actually pretty awesome. So this is a photo that I shot yesterday with my iPhone, a beautiful place. I, I was very inspired because, you know, in the south of France, you have so many uh, beautiful little villages that I've seen in paintings all my life. And I was like, oh, this would totally, you know, be a painting for Monet if he was still with us today. And Monet has this very specific style where he does this little, you know, impressionist, which is like giving the impression of a photo. Like if you look at the photo, at the painting from far, it looks like a photo. But if you look very close, you'll see there is a, a whole bunch of little, you know, brush strokes that are very specific to him. Now, of course, you know, I'm, I don't, you know, it's not going to look like Monet, but uh, completely, uh, but it, it has a little bit of a feeling to it, you know, uh, the way he was painting and everything. I'll, I'll show you how that goes. It's, it, you know, it's not as good, but it's, it's just fun. It's really fun. So let's do it. So for this to work, we're going to use a very unusual tool, and uh, which is the Historic Artistic Brush. And I'm going to show you how it works. And we're going to show you special brushes that I'm going to give you. You will find the link down below, and I'll show you how to install them um, at the end of this video. So stay until the end if you want to see how to install it, if you want to do it on your own. The first thing is to do this technique, we need to have to make this photo into an 8-bit photo. You see, I opened this up in Photoshop, although I came from Lightroom and it was an iPhone photo. You see here it says 16. So the first thing you have to do is I've got to go to image and I have to go to mode and 16 bit. It's just some filters in Photoshop will not work unless you're an 8 bit photo. OK, that's just the rule. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the layer by clicking and dragging this here. If your Photoshop doesn't look like mine, just make sure you go up here and use the photography, not the painting, although we're going to do painting, but the photography mode. Uh, what you see here is some of my skies. You're not going to see that in your in your Photoshop. That's fine. That's you know, but you should see the layers, which is the most important part. The next thing we're going to do, and that's a little bit tricky, is we're going to go to Windows, History. Okay, and we're going to go here into here, you see that looks like a camera. We're gonna create a snapshot, okay? What a snapshot is, is basically it's saying, okay, the, it's recording basically how the state of how the photo is. The reason we need to do that is now that we are in 8-bit, we have to create a snapshot. So it's called snapshot one, okay? Uh, it's just the way this tool works. Then we go here and we take the, so you see where the this tool here is called the history the art history brush tool, okay? Art history brush tool. So, and the, the thing is, it's not, you see, if I click, it's not gonna work. It says, could not use the art history brush because the current bit depth does not match that of the history state. It took me a while to figure out, but basically all you have to do while you have this tool selected is click here. So that snapshot one, remember we just created that, is going to be like the, basically the history you know, the, um, let's say the data that he's going to get from it. And that data needs to be into 8-bit. And now it, it's going to work. The next thing we need to do is we need to change the brush itself. So you can click here and I'm going to give you a whole bunch of brushes that you can install. Um, for example, you see it says 2845. That's the size of the brush. Okay. And uh, I'm going to show you how to install this brush. Basically, this brush are watercolor brushes that I created with the designer a long time ago, but they work perfect for this. Okay, so now we've done that. We have this brush selected. Again, I'll show you at the end of this video how to install that. You can see the brush is very big. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna right click and you see the brush size is 2845, thus the name that said 2845. We're gonna bring this down to like 
um, I want to say like, like very like five pixel, three pixel even. Okay. Now before we start painting, uh, you could start painting right away. Now uh, let me show you what it does. You could start painting right away. So to get the tool back, so I press Z to zoom in, and Y to get that tool back. It's Y is a shortcut. Oh, by the way, if you don't see the artist rig brush, you can go to File or no, it's Edit Toolbar, and this is where you decide which tool you want to have. And you can make sure that uh, uh, right now I have all the tools here, but like it could be that the tool is here on the right side. You need to drag and drop it into your toolbar, okay? So uh, in case you don't have it, but that's if you don't have it. But check this out. Now as I, I start brushing, uh, well, you don't see much here right now. Let me make, make it a bit bigger maybe, okay? And make, make sure that black, yeah, now it's, look, check this out. As I'm brushing, it's going to make like a painting. And the good thing is, and you can use move it around with the uh, space bar. The thing is that the, you know, the big, it's gonna really make it like a painting. Now, to make it even better, what I do is, before I do that, so let me do Command Z a couple of times until it's back to normal. I go to Filter, Stylize, and I go to All Painting. So I, I want to transform the base of this as an old painting. Usually what I do is I put the stylization. If you put it here on, on the right, it's going to be, look, you can see a preview here. It's going to be very stylized. If you go all the way here, it's all hardly going to be seen. So and you can press preview so you can see what it does to the whole photo. So usually I put this about halfway here. And what it does, check, look here on, on the rocks here. Before, after, it re already looks like a painting. It's just a little base. So. I usually go about like three on stylization, cleanliness around nine, but you can try different things. Uh, scale, you know, around five, Bristol detail around three, okay? And that's it, and I press okay. And so it's already gonna look like a painting a little bit. So let me show you, it's actually good. But it looks like so generated by a computer, like it looks totally generated by a computer, it's too perfect, okay? So we need to make it less perfect, thus come the famous heart history brush. Okay, so now we have the brush selected. Opacity 100%. Um, let's go and let's start painting. So it's actually pretty, it's too big at 19 pixels. I'm gonna put it down to like nine pixel. And so it's gonna take a little bit of time, but as you brush and you can move around with the Z, uh, with the space bar, as you brush, it's, it's gonna basically make it uh, it's going to be very random. It's going to go everywhere, but it's, um, and every time I do this, I get a different result, but I've, I've tried so many ways to make paintings and I find that it's really a cool way to do this sort of impressionist painting. Okay. And if you want to sort of do it even more right now, I, I'm very, you know, I'm very zoomed in. Um, I'm only at nine pixel. Let's go back to like 20 pixel. If you go to 20 pixels, it's gonna do a lot bigger brush strokes. And it could be kind of cool. And you can actually mix up both. Like, usually I like to go like a 20 pixel on everything. And then um, I go back to about 10 pixel. And then uh, just add smaller details on, on your brush strokes. And uh, and that's pretty much the, the, you know, most of it. The, the thing is, What's really cool about it is that every time you do it, you're gonna have a different result. And I just love the, the feeling that it gives it. For me, it really, it really reminds me like sort of a Monet painting, you know? And uh, voila. And I've tried so many filters in Photoshop and I really like, look at this. If you look at it from far, it's like very photorealistic, but as you zoom in, it really looks like a painting. And um, and looks like like brush strokes and everything. So, and again, you can make it smaller. And it's funny, uh, honestly, the first time I tried this, I, I thought it was give a, a bit better result. If you go too far, it's gonna look weird. If you make a big thing, it's gonna make like really big. Let me undo this a couple of times, that's too much. And, um, and basically, voila, this is the, let me zoom in, this is our painting. It's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward, but I really like the result. It looks like a painting to me. And I don't know, it looks better than any filter I've tried in Photoshop. Give it a shot, uh, voila. So now I'm gonna explain you how you can install the brushes. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click the link that's under the video 
And that's going to take you basically to create an account on my website, photosearch.com. Once you create it, you're going to go to your library. Now, my library has is, is got everything. I, I have all the products that I own. And you will see it's not going to be this photo. It's going to be the photo of this painting we just did, which is going to say like how to paint like Monet or something like this. Uh, you're going to click on open. So you click download source files. Again, it's going to be another photo, which is going to be probably very similar to the paint that I did. And then you unzip it. And in there, you're going to have source files, watercolor. Uh, and there you have a, a file called watercolor brush ABR. Okay, that all you have to do is double click on it. Okay, now, if it does not, if you don't see like, um, if it's not related to Photoshop, you can right click and click open with Photoshop. And if you if you don't have this as, a, as an option, you can go to others and find Photoshop the software. If for some reason this doesn't work, and as a possibility you have is you go to you, you go to the brush tool, you go here into this settings here, and you go here up here. It's just a longer. You go import brushes, and you go. So I'm gonna go to uh, my desktop, and you take the ABR file and you open it, and voila. And you will have all these uh, brushes, um, which are here. The one we used, I think, was the. Uh, you, you see that you can find the name here: two thousand five hundred, two thousand five. That's the size two eight four five is the one we used here, and uh, voila, that's that's how you do it. So this is a photo. Let me show you on another photo. This one I shot uh, yesterday. I'm in Lightroom. I finished retouching this one. It's one of my favorite photos this summer. I'm gonna edit it in Photoshop and let's use this technique. I'm going to redo it because I really want to make sure you follow every step. Uh, and this one's going to be even more awesome. So I'm here. The first thing we need to do is to put it into an 8-bit. So mode, 8-bit. Then you go to Windows, History. You take a snapshot after doing the 8-bit. And you put the tool on snapshot 1. Okay, now we are good to go. We can duplicate this layer. First, let's go to Filter, Stylize, Old Paint. Uh, you can pause the video now because I use the same settings three, so three eight five three three eight five three, which makes like a middle painting kind of thing. And now it's already looking a little bit like a painting, but like, I mean, if somebody can paint like this, he's really good. That's I always thought that the old painting filter was too uh, too computer generated. Now it's time that we do like a Monet. So let, let's go to the artistic brush. We have it well set up. Let's right click. Make sure, click here, uh, make sure you select one of the brush strokes. Um, here, you can select here, or you can select here. We can select this one for a change. Voila, make sure you right click and make it very small. So I'm gonna go like, uh, yeah, I like 22 works well for this one. And voila, and now, bam, bam, we have this brush strokes. And uh, I'm gonna make this, look at this. And what's amazing about this is every time I try this, I get a different result. I like that. You know, it's, although, you know, I wish I could paint this well. And actually I'm learning how to paint and draw. I've done a few drawings that I kind of happy with, uh, but painting is my next thing. I really wanna learn painting. Um, yeah, very much. I, I've always wanted to paint. My mom was a painter. Uh, I have some friends which are painters. I don't know. Every time I go into a CD and I, there's a, a painting exhibition, I go check it out. I, I really want to do this, learn how to paint. Okay, check this out, this, how cool it is. You know, and you can go as in detail or not. And, you know, I had this idea also, why not print this on a canvas and then try painting over it? You know, I think it'd give a great result. Check this, look at the, look how much it looks like a painting now. It's crazy and it really has this sort of impression. It's meaning when you look at it from far, it looks very photorealistic. And when you look up close, it's great, you know. And if you want to go crazy, I like that. Some people can, you can just go and instead of going at 22 pixel, you can go like to 44 pixel. And now it's going to look like, uh, it's going to, you're going to look like as a less professional painter. It's going to look like a more, you know, bigger brush strokes, which I don't like. I like more that kind of things but it's up to you. Give me a like if you like this kind of video. I want to share this trick with you. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to learn. I try to do a video for you every week. Thank you so much. Download the brush. They're free. It's for you to have fun. You can even post them on Instagram in your stories and tag them. And the best painting I will share to over 100,000 people that can maybe bring you some new followers. 
So just post it as a story and tag me at at Photosurge. Voila, I can't wait to see what you're going to do with these brushes and I'll see you in another video. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir.